good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about capacitive discharge ignition system in the last class we have seen battery ignition system magneto ignition system and the transistor aged ignition system in this class we are focusing on capacitive discharge ignition system so this is the basic circuit diagram for uh, capacitive discharge ignition system first of all we should identify what are the parts in uh, capacitive discharge ignition system the first one uh, pulse rotor uh, trigger coil scr silicon control rectifier switch and uh, primary coil secondary coil combined together we call it as ignition coil diode and the capacitor and the battery these are the major components in uh, capacitive discharge ignition system see first of all what is a diode diode is like a non written wall diode is like a non written wall for electrical energy from capacitor to battery that means uh, the electrical energy transferred only from battery to the capacitor the return of energy electrical energy that is current from capacitor to the battery is allowed is not allowed by the diode the diode is act as like a non written wall it allows only in one direction the current flow in only one direction that is from battery to the capacitor and the scr scr silicon control rectifier actually it is open in position all the time usually it is open in position if i supply some amount of current to the scr this scr is getting close now this pulse rotor is connected to the camshaft so this pulse rotor is also rotate when when the pulse rotor rotates and it has a some point like a profile this the profile on the uh, pulse rotor rotating and the moment it contact that means the moment it is in line with the trigger coil the trigger coil activate when the trigger coil activates it produces a small amount of emf that emf is supplied to the scr then scr get close already i told you scr is usually open if i supply small amount of current it will get close the moment it close the capacitor is already charged by the battery the amount you know all the capacitor is already charged by the battery so now the moment the scr close the circuit is get close the current transferred from capacitor to the primary coil so that means then <coughs> when the scr close the charge from the capacitor pass it to the primary coil so the change in the flux due to current flow in the primary coil sets up high voltage that means if current is transferred to the primary coil it will change the flux this change in flux in the primary coil induces a high voltage in the secondary coil this high voltage in the secondary coil is supplied to the spark plug in the combustion chamber or cylinder now after supplying the spark plug the further movement of the pulse rotor moves away from that that, that means this profile moves away from the trigger coil so the trigger coil is inactivate and as here get open so the circuit is open the amount of that means the current flow from capacitor to the primary coil is restricted that means there is no current flow because the circuit is open at that time capacitor is getting charged from the battery again so once it get charged and the and it rotate the moment it in line with the trigger coil the trigger coil activate and it produces small emf when this emf is supplied to the scr scr get close and current transfer takes place from capacitor to the primary coil so primary coil if current flows in the primary coil it will change the flux the change in flux in the primary coil sets up high voltage in the secondary coil it is produce it, it will try it is this high voltage is sent to the you know in a spark plug for example you know if it is a multi cylinder engine for example a two cylinder engine already you can see at the end of compression see suction stroke compression stroke power stroke and expansion stroke that means uh, this profile come to this line means at the end of compression this profile come to this means that at the time the piston is doing a power stroke if this profile come to this means expansion stroke it, now, now the piston is doing expansion if the profile come to here means suction stroke the piston is doing suction if the profile come to in line with the trigger coil means almost at the end of compression at that time the circuit is get close and the spark is given to the spark plug so if it is a multi cylinder engine we have to place two profiles on this if it is a three cylinder we have to place three profiles on this propulsor rotor like that we have to arrange thank you very much